Hello so guys, today I'm going to show you some couple of things which you can do if your Streamlabs OBS crashes. So these are some couple of useful things what I want to show you. And the first off what you want to do is you want to go over to your settings. So if you can access this guys, if you cannot access this, just skip a little bit forward. Now once you're in here, what I will recommend you guys to do is you want to log out and log back in. And test out if that works for you and if that doesn't work go to here general and go to delete cache and restart so don't worry guys it won't delete something like your uh, scenes or anything like that so don't worry about losing your scenes it will just reset your settings so it could happen that something on your settings isn't okay and that's why the crashing is happening now let's just go ahead and close this one off let's just say that you cannot access it at all once you open it up it just crashes and just goes away really quickly what you want to do is you want to click on right click on streamlabs obs and go to run as administrator you want to try this if that doesn't work out close it off you want to go over here type the search Go to your settings, go to network and internet, you want to go to Windows Firewall and you want to allow the app through firewall. So I want to allow an app through firewall, click on change settings and now search up for your Streamlabs OBS. It will easy, it will be easy to find it will be like an alphabetic order so like you see you want to enable this over here the name private and public and click on ok close it off and now restart it again so guys if it still crashes out you want to make sure that you don't have something opened up like a editor or stuff like that because those are taking too much RAM so it could happen that maybe that's a problem so what you want to do is go to the search bar and go to task manager and once you click on task manager you will get this and you want to test out if it's not using too much of your GPU or if it's not using just too much guys and you can go to like also performance mode and see it from here also on memory like your RAM and stuff like that and just test them out from here really easily and if you have something opened up like I said like an editor you want to close that off and start your Streamlabs OBS again and if that still doesn't work out guys maybe you have like maybe a bit too long on RAM so you want to make sure that you have at least maybe 8 gigs of RAM guys if you have like 4 it could give you some problems like this so it all could happen if you have 4 gigs of RAM but my recommendation is at least 8 gigs so guys I would recommend you guys to go ahead and go to also here the search bar you can go to device manager on device manager go over to here your display adapters click on that and click on your GPU double click and go to driver or here go over to update driver and click on that and now you can just search up automatically for new drivers so maybe that could be also the reason and most likely guys it's really important that you have a good working GPU if you are going to use something like OBS on Streamlabs OBS or maybe OBS Studios, you want to always make sure that your drivers are up to, up to date. And now once you did that guys, you can also do that actually on GeForce. So let me show you that. Just double click. It's actually a lot easier on here. You want to go to drivers and on here it will just already show you a new available driver over here. And like you see guys, I have a driver that I can install right now. That's actually today kind of cool and yeah this was basically the video guys if you still have problems you can just go ahead and ask them in the comments down below and also if you have some specific problems you can also leave them in the comments down below if it works out for you you can also leave that in the comments down below and thanks for watching please like subscribe and you can follow me on twitter and instagram i'll leave a link in the description down below also for my discord server so take care guys and goodbye